Duggan hands this one off to Spiller. He gets out to the 10, gain to two. It'll be a second and eight. So we got 44 new players on the Chargers this year. Drafted nine, signed 15 as free agents, and 20 undrafted college free agents. Make up their 90-man composition. There's Jim Harbaugh there. Dug in the throw. Middle of the field and throws it behind his intended receiver, Jalen Johnson. This is the end of the third quarter. And that now brings us to the fourth quarter. So Max Duggan going to have a third and eight when we return. See if the Chargers can get this ball moving to start the fourth. Would have been good from probably 65. To put the Chargers on the board. That is their only score of the game. We mentioned 30 minutes, 30 seconds to 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Time of possession in this one. In favor of Seattle. Duggan. Out to the right has Parham and a nice effort. How about that? Donald Parham starting tight end for this team in the fourth quarter of a preseason game extends to pick up a first down. Yeah, showed good strength there after the catch. He goes at six foot eight, but he makes the catch. Good throw by Duggan, too. And you love that effort. Picked up an extra four yards after contact. Spiller in the backfield, and Duggan will keep it. Outside the numbers, 25, right sideline out of bounds. And he'll pick up six, second and four, his second run of the contest. I don't think it will be his last either. <laughs> he is very comfortable tucking it and going. And again, he shows you that burst, that initial suddenness to create some space and some room. You see Brennan Rice out there in the huddle along with Simi Fajoko, Jalen Johnson goes out with Fajoko. Rice wide of the numbers right. Wouldn't mind seeing something downfield. Duggan hands to Spiller. Nowhere to go. Shuffles his feet. Makes it happen. Picks up the first down. Needed three. Picked up four. Another first down. Maybe we got ourselves a drive, guys. Definitely a good start to it. Uh, Parham and now Spiller. Spiller under a lot of pressure to make this team and be a contributor. And they're looking for that third back behind Dobbins and Edwards. Spiller, Patterson, Elijah Dotson, of course, the rookie, Kamani Vidal, who we did not see today. And Duggan with the play action, has time. Now he's going to roll out with pressure. Throws and wide of the mark. Fajoko, so a second and ten. Probably could have picked up a few if he had tucked it and run. <laughs> Check the Seattle sideline because that, that was, a, was a scud coming in. <laughs> That's a good call. Or maybe the sweep behind it, which would be even worse. <laughs> We're in the fourth quarter. It's in a game where maybe you have to track down your own entertainment. Well, 38 yards passing today for the Charger quarterbacks. Struggle is real. And a second and ten. Dotson in the backfield. Here comes a delayed bit blitz. And downfield, Fajoko secures the catch. Oh, into plus territory. Right, the 41 of Seattle. That's a 28-yard connection. Yeah, almost matched the, the passing yardage you had up until that point. <laughs> right. Big 28-yard chunk play, Dan. Well, he's six foot four and he uses all of it. Ball thrown behind him. Great adjustment. Hand off to Dotson, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage. Churns the legs, though. Picks up one, maybe two. We'll bring up a second and eight to the 39. Dotson, another part of that group. Second season out of Northern Colorado. Was active a couple times last year. Not a lot of production. Well, with the injury to Austin Eckler and the struggles of Joshua Kelly, you see J.K. Dobbins there. So they want this to be a run heavy attack. They bring in the two big backs from Baltimore, Gus Edwards and Dobbins, in the hopes they can stay healthy and do the same sort of damage they did for the Ravens. And Duggan drops, 
And a little shovel pass, oh, but Dotson cannot handle it. Great heads up play by Duggan, but it falls incomplete. Watch him step up into the pocket. He sees Dotson coming out of the backfield, and uh, it's kind of like an option type of throw. Incomplete pass, but he might want that one back and might just keep it himself next time. Or we just uh, wait to see if Cameron Dicker can do a 58 yarder again, entertain us with that draw. <laughs> We're in his range. Dotson stays in. I think we were in his range when I got out of my car, right? The parking lot. <laughs> Duggan under pressure, and he's going to be dropped. I don't know if they're still in his range now. Back to the 50. Yeah, he's a loss of 11. He hit a 58 yarder, and if I, my math is correct, what perfect conditions to be a place kicker. Oh, no doubt. We saw that. In that Chiefs game, and Harrison Butker, the first that was the first game in this building. That was, and I think what a 59, two 59 yarders, one to send it to overtime, one to win it in overtime, and had 10 yards to spare. Wow. J.K. Scott's busy night continues. This an end over end punt. Fair catch signaled for at the seven. So a nice punt from J.K. 39 yards. Can the defense do it again? Fourth quarter as the Chargers try to make something happen late. And despite the struggles of the offense, defense has played very well here this evening. Walker with the option. Oh, and nearly picked off again. Hankins jumped the route, saw it coming, and the third year player out of Iowa could not secure it. Uh, you know why? Guys play defense because they can't catch. He'd be a wide receiver if he could catch. Nothing Goodness. wrong with his eyes. He saw it fast. Great reaction. Just couldn't pull it in. Hit him in both hands. The flag on the field, guys, is Jim Harbaugh having a conversation with referee Sean Smith. An eligible man downfield, offense number 61. Half the business penalty, first down. Coach will accept it, wants to back him up inside the five instead of taking the second and ten. So, ball will be placed at the three. It's one of those RPOs, huh? Yeah, it was almost an RPO. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie Robinson now in it back, takes the handoff, goes nowhere. <laughs> It's official. The Chargers team store in El Segundo is now open, located at 2144 East El Segundo Boulevard. The new brick and mortar store is stocked with the latest limited edition collabs, jerseys, headwear, sideline gear, and more. For more information, visit chargers.com slash shop. I know you went there, DJ, the yeah, other day. I got a chance to check it out, get some stuff for the kids there. A great selection. Did you get a deal? Well, I wanted a Fouts jersey, but they were out. They said they sell selling like hotcakes. I don't think they stock them either. <laughs> Farmer with the rush into the end zone. Walker able to find a man wide open. Left side, missed tackle by Akeem Dent. And all the way out to the 20. The Seahawks, despite being pinned deep, pick up 17. That's a heck of a throw by Walker. And it, you really love to see that out of your receivers after the catch. Just get us a couple yards. Turn up field immediately. And it's Cody White in his fifth season out of Michigan State with the reception. Hand off to Robinson. Looking for a crease. And they string him out to the left sideline, led by Gerard Clark. It's good to see here we are in the fourth quarter. We still have a defense that is really running to the football, showing a lot of effort, a lot of want to, a lot of desire. And they've been on the field for the majority of this game. So even though you've got an expanded roster, you've got some extra bodies, you look at some of those numbers out there. We've seen like Nick Neiman, he's played a full ball game. Well, time of possession 31 47 for Seattle to 18 22 for the Chargers. So that means the defense, as you said, Daniel, on the field. Shotgun snap. Here comes a blitz. He didn't see it coming. Oh, a knockout blow for Thomas Harper. Rookie out of Notre Dame. 
That's his second play. He had the big hit on the kickoff to start the third quarter. And here he comes screaming off the edge, unblocked. Walker never saw him or felt him. And he finishes with a beautiful sack. Had two of them last year at Notre Dame. Had six tackles for loss. A forced fumble that goes undrafted. And again, avoided a penalty on that sack. That kept his head out of it. And yep. Nice job. Third and 17 now for the Seahawks. Down to three on the play clock. Walker has time downfield and caught. A nice catch from Easton Winston Jr. In front of Matt Hankins for 21 yards. That's a veteran throw by Walker. He's in his fifth year. He was with Carolina for four and last year with Cleveland, but anticipation's the key there on the deep dig route here. You can see the ball is in the air before the receiver even turns his head around. And that was Hankins in coverage. And that ball swatted at the line of scrimmage. As Tarheeb still, their fifth round pick out of Maryland gets his hand on it. Jesse Benner's not afraid to bring the nickel. No, this has been one of the better schemes all day, night long. It's this uh, slot blitz. A lot of times they're getting their hands on that quick pass. One of the days out at training camp, we had all those interceptions, so many of them off of tip balls. And in this league, it's gotten so hard to get to the quarterback with the ball coming out so fast. So not just a D lineman, if you're a blitzer from the secondary, if you can't get home, get your hands up in the air. And that just drives quarterbacks crazy. Play action, here comes a blitzer. Walker able to escape Morris Brash, looking downfield and throws wide of his target. Jack Westover, the rookie tight end out of Washington. It's almost a heck of a play by Walker. Ball's incomplete, so a third and ten coming up. Westover had a great career at the uh, University of Washington. It's going to be a real favorite if he makes the team with the Seahawks. A college free agent for the Seahawks. Playing for his offensive coordinator. Right. Coach Grubb. Brian Grubb. I think he was with Kalen DeBoer for a brief second there in Alabama before he came back home. I should say back to the Pacific Northwest. I think he's from Iowa. He's a delay of game there. And yep. delay of game exactly right. Walker didn't see the play clock. So back him up. It'll be a third and 15. Offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. One word describes that. Inexcusable. <laughs> There's a clock. There's a clock. Right in front of him. Break the huddle. Look at the clock. And then a third and 17. Let's see if they can get off the field with a third and 15. Seattle has been a menace on third down, though. 10 of 17 here tonight. And they bring the blitz. Walker able to handle it, and he's wow. done it again. This time in front of Zamari Walton. Needed seven, needed 15, he got 16. Well, he went with the dig route the last time. He comes with the same route to the other side of the field. Steps up and really puts some mustard on this pass. That's a graduate level throw right there. Now Walker in graduate school, a season. Not a temple. Signed as a free agent this offseason. That takes trust and that takes accuracy and that takes arm strength. Check, check, check. Hand off to Lewis here. And Morris Brash falls on his back. He had pick up a three, second and seven as he's just shy of midfield at the Seattle 49. I wouldn't be surprised if we get to the end of camp if the Seahawks don't get a call on PJ Walker. He looks like a good two out here. And Sam Howell played well. That's an interesting, interesting option for teams looking for a two. Are you suggesting something? I'm just putting it out there that it's, he's going to have some interest. That's all. I'm not saying from who, DJ's but uh, just, just going for a walk. Yeah, just so, taking a stroll. Just taking a stroll. And there's the handoff on the sweep. And Eskridge has got a lane left sideline all the way to the Charger 30. Gain of 21. It was George Helani who threw a huge block out there in the perimeter. 
See him number 36. And in fact, he did. He got his shoulder into a keen dent. And that is what sprung Estrades for the 21 yard run. Boom. Alani, the rookie undrafted free agent out of Boise State. That was a depleter. That's as impressive as a long run, especially for the coaches seeing that type of effort. And now they reward him with a handoff, and look at that. Lowers the shoulder, gets down to the 25, pick up a four. Running hard. Boise Lock State's one hard. of those programs where every kid that comes out of there is tough. Yeah. It's been that way. Utah is another one. But they play on a blue surface in Boise. Does that toughen you up, you think? Just the blue, staring at that blue turf every day? Well, I think what it does is it kills a lot of ducks. Because they think, <laughs> they think it's a pond. <laughs> this is the truth. Second and six now, up 13-3. Coming up on under five minutes left in the game. That's got to mess your mind up if you're a duck. That <laughs> it's not as bad as Eastern Washington, whose field is red. Shot to the end zone. Broken up at the last second. Nice play by Hankins. Pass intended for Ty Scott in his first season out of Missouri State. But Hankins there to make the play. Well, Scott's got a beat, but uh, Hankins doesn't give up on the play. It goes right between the two hands. That is such great technique to go between the receiver's hands to knock the ball away. Yeah, that's teaching tape. Yes, sir. Play the hands. When you're beat, no, no use in looking back. You got to make up some ground, and you're watching Clue in those hands. As soon as they go up, you split them. That was perfect. Absolutely. It looks like with two on the play clock. Timeout. Second charge. Time Big third and six here. 13 to three Seattle. Let's see if the D can out. get a stop when we return. With Mike McDonald, who was the defensive coordinator in Michigan for a season. So they're facing off here tonight. Big third down. Can the Chargers force the field goal attempt? Walker. Quick out into the flat. And diving to the 20. We do have a flag, though, middle of the field. It looks as though he'll be a yard short. An eligible man downfield, offense number 68. Five yard penalty. We play third down. I think that happened, Dan, because he had to pump. If he's yeah. able to get that ball out when he wants to, I don't think you have an eligible man downfield, but he had to hold the ball for a count. You'll see it right here. If he can throw it right now, but if that pump. That's what allowed the distance to take place and get yourself a penalty. Third and 11. Don't be fooled by the double digits. They've converted a third and 15, a third and 17 on this drive. You've got, it looks like a split safety look, so you're going to have the middle of the field as an area that P.J. Walker could go at. Down to five on the play clock. And here comes a blitz and swatted at the line of scrimmage. Ty Shelby gets his mitt on it, and it falls incomplete, and the Seahawks will have to settle for a field goal. That's what you talked about, Daniel, is the ability of the pass rushers. Still. You can't get all the way to the quarterback. Get your hands up. Good athletic move there to get both hands up for that attempt. And Tarheep still 29. Not 59 with the block, the second on this drive that he got his hand on. You can tell it's a teaching point. They have definitely worked on that, and it is has really paid off for this defense today. 48-yard field goal attempt here. Jason Myers who missed an extra point a little bit earlier. And this one right down the middle. So Seahawks on top, 16 to three. See if we can get a touchdown on the board when we return. Chargers back on offense. Surprising speed. Short. And that was short, so short of the landing zone, the ball automatically goes to the 40. Free kick, short of the landing zone, the ball will be placed at the 40 yard line, first down. That was a bad miss. Sure was. And that's just some of the things that they're trying out with this new kickoff rules. The ball has to drop between the 20 and the goal line. If it's short, you can't even return it. It is automatically placed at the 40. And just signed earlier this week, 
now in the huddle is Luis Perez. And Perez has really made his rounds in the spring football on the spring football circuit. Just won the MVP of the UFL and the championship over there. Quick drop, quick throw, nearly intercepted. Almost secured by DJ James. Had it hit him in the hands, drop for an incompletion. Ball was intended for tight end Luke Benson. Very deliberate. His eyes got on there early and nowhere really to put that football. Now O'Connell all over it. Look at that wasn't picked off. Perez from San Diego. Has time, wants a shot downfield, and Jalen Johnson with a grab. What a catch over the shoulder, and that's something we have seen all training camp long. 36 yards. Well, Perez, the pride of Chula Vista, went to Southwestern College before transferring to Texas A&M Commerce. Did you play against him? I did not. <laughs> but he threw for a lot of yards. Here's Perez, sets his feet, goes to the end zone. Oh, nearly caught again by Johnson. Tried to one-hand it. But Over the head of Marquise Blair. Yeah, he gave him a chance, though. So and you got to love that. Back-to-back -back go routes. And this one is, is on target, too. That's pass interference. My goodness. How do you not call that on 33? Williams, Mike. Well, well. I used to see Perez all the time at a gym in San Diego. Worked out with Drew Brees. He has worked out with that gym down there for years. Working on his bowling stroke? <laughs> yeah. He is a great guy. Unbelievable guy. So he was a bowler. Ball start. Offense number 65. Five yard penalty. Second down. So back him up five. But Perez, yeah, was one of the top amateurs in California when he was, fifth, you know, at the age of 15. And how does he start playing football? Watching YouTube. Coaching videos on YouTube. I thought you said he's watching my tube. <laughs> <laughs> watching old reels of Dan Files, yeah. exactly. And now here he is. I mentioned the accolades, right? AAF, XFL, USFL, UFL. Just came out of the playoffs. Two and zero, 71% completion rate, six touchdowns, no interceptions. Well, you put all those uh, FLs together and you get perseverance. Right? Unbelievable. He'll turn 30 in a couple of weeks. And now rolls out, finds the check down underneath. It's Dotson. Dotson stiff arms at the 22. Clock keeps running under four minutes. The gain is seven, so it'll bring up a third and eight. Now Dotson's got to know just step out of bounds. You're not going to get to the end zone. He does not play scared. He knows he's playing with house money here, getting an opportunity. He's been around, as you mentioned, all those different stops along the way. He's going to let it rip. Bunch formation to his left, and Perez to throw again. Takes a shot toward the end zone. Tip ball intended for Brendan Rice, incomplete. Put it right on the money, though. Gave us a receiver an opportunity. Poked away, though, by D. Williams. Uh, good job by the safety coming over. But you can call pass interference on Williams again. He's got his hands all over Rice. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and eight from the 22. Trailing 16 to three. Why not? Perez is your leading passer. That happened fast. Sure did. Well, they're going to come after him here. Down to three on the play clock. Two, one. Gets the snap off. And they did not. They called the timeout. He hasn't Straight been here time. very long Shout to know out. all the verbiage and the checks and everything that goes along with it. You know, we talk about Justin Herbert and all the offenses he had to learn. Well, we just heard the uh, roadmap right. <laughs> for Perez. Yes, exactly. Rules, <laughs> players. And, and not exactly Hall of Fame players. No. You know, guys looking to get to this level, working their heart out to try to get to the NFL. 
and all the different stops along the way you got to hand it to Mr. Perez so many of the concepts and the plays can be the same but he's probably learned about 10 different languages of the same concept in the same play so they will go for it on this fourth and eight With the advantage of having the plays on your wrist really uh, very beneficial Rice wide of the numbers right Johnson wide of the numbers left Gill in the slot Everybody at the line of scrimmage and they got a free jump. play free play. Oh. oh They'll blow it dead. He'll get the five back though and instead of fourth and three will be coming up Neutral zone infraction defense number 94 yeah. five yard penalty. in the old days it would Eight blow the whistle right. So you would literally have a free play and you could put it anywhere on the field Take and your shot. Absolutely take your shot. You got nothing to lose. Think about Aaron Rodgers, the best in the business at that. He'd get those guys to jump offside with that hard count. How many touchdowns he's thrown in his career on those plays. Yeah. So a fourth and three instead of a fourth and eight. Brennan Rice one on one on the outside. Safety is shading that way, though. That's where Perez is looking. That's what he wants. Rice incomplete. Tried to thread it between a pair of defenders. And just out of the reach. So they turn it over on down. Seattle offense back on the field with 3.16 to go, trailing 16-3. With 11 tackles, a sack in there as well, and a couple big plays, Dan. That's what the Chargers needed too. coming in is to get more stops out of the middle of their defense. The edge rushers have been outstanding. The corners have done a good job today. But Neiman has really stood out and still out there. Yeah, Seahawks going to try to run this thing out. Robinson with the carry. Third and final charge time out Los Angeles. 30 yeah. seconds. Chargers wouldn't mind getting a look at the offense one more time. I want to see a little more Perez. Yeah. I think Coach Harbaugh feels the same way. Yeah, skipped right over Casey Bauman, a rookie out of Augustana. An interesting story quickly about Mike McDonald, 37 year old head coach of the Seahawks. So we were talking to Joe Ortiz, general manager of the Chargers. He said when he was in Baltimore, got a call from the University of Georgia, a friend of his when he was at Auburn. He said, I got a guy that would be great in your front office. So they interview Mike McDonald. Half the front office says, I think he wants to be a coach. Let's not hire him. Very next year, guy from Georgia says, Mike wants to get into coaching. They bring him back, they hire him as a coach. Wow. As they stop the run there, but Joe said he thought he would have been a great scout, great front office guy, and then McDonald wanted the job. He was interested in it. Seems like he chose the right path. Worked out all right. Worked out all right for him. Yeah, and tell me the difference between the on the financial side of coaching and, and being a scout, Daniel. We live in different neighborhoods, Dan. Uh, we live in different neighborhoods. We live in different countries. <laughs> and just a ton of Baltimore, Michigan connections all over this field. Players, coaches, front office. And obviously, it's all through the Harbaugh family. And off goes to Robinson, and there's stuff by Robert Kennedy the rookie out of NC State by way of Old Dominion but we have more hotel points than they do I'll tell you that much there you go. <laughs> funny thing those guys don't even know what hotel points are <laughs> uh, where's, where's the five star book it <laughs> and make it the presidential suite <laughs> all right that's the two minute warning this Seattle with a fourth and four warning. see if the Chargers get one more possession next Chargers out of timeouts, but here at the two-minute warning, a reminder, if you can't get enough of the Bolts, follow at Chargers, the number one social media team in the NFL. Get up to the minute news, analysis, exclusive behind-the-scenes access, and some of the most creative content in sports. Simple, just type in at Chargers to follow along on Twitter, slash X, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. See him dancing there. Post that on TikTok. You gotta save your best moves for the regular season, though. Don't exactly dust those right. off just yet. This is exactly preseason right. dancing. Uh, 
Jalen Gill back there to return this punt at the 25. And fair catch signal for 33. 44 yard punt, no return, and back out is Luis Perez. Just signed earlier this week, so they pass over Casey Bauman. A lot of that probably a product of Easton Stick having to play the entire first half. His numbers 5 of 13, 31 yards, an interception, and a QB rating of 14.6. There yeah, wasn't a lot going on offensively in that first half, just nothing going. Couldn't get the run game going, and no could, first down. Yeah, no, just just third down was a brick wall in the first half, but they've started to move the ball here with with Perez. It's been fun to watch as we're coming down the home stretch. So Johnson, Gill, and Cornelius Johnson, your receivers. Spiller in the backfield. Perez checks it down to Spiller, makes the catch. A little shimmy, and he's able to get out of bounds left sideline. Just shy of the 40. And there's the rookie, Casey Bauman, out of Augustana. School with Kenny Anderson, the great quarterback for the Bengals. Oh, yeah. But you have to use the word tiny Augustana. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I used to kid Kenny. Perez, little shovel pass. Spiller picks up the first down. Clock continues to roll. Again, no timeouts for the Bolts. It's impressive that you can be in a two minute situation with as little reps right. as few reps as Perez has had since he's arrived. And Perez steps up middle of the field again Spiller and he's going to be dropped midfield into plus territory at the 49. Second and four but now we are coming up on under a minute. And again, Perez just signed earlier this week. Tell you what, Harbaugh is still engaged on the sideline. He is fully engaged after every snap. You can see him still coaching. And now discussing whether or not this is intentional Brownie, but he's saying he was floating it out to Spiller, who just went a little bit wide there. So Spiller comes to the sideline. Moving on the field is the nigga for the pass. Third down. Thank you, Ruth. Considering this a fumble. No, definitely a pass, but Spiller was just too wide out there, but he sold it. He sold the idea that that was his intended target, even though it was about eight yards away. So clock stops 56 seconds on a third and four. The Harbaugh is hollering from the sideline, wanting to get a point across here. And help his quarterback. Patterson in at running back now and places Spiller. Perez got to let it fly and misses the mark intended for Gill incomplete. So a fourth and four. And of course, they'll go for it. Different skill sets uh, with these quarterbacks, Dan. This is not, you think about the running we saw with the other group. Not That's not his game. Perez wants to sit back there in the pocket and let it rip. And 32 games in all of those spring leagues, just a single rushing touchdown. With 44, the passing variety. So let's see. Extend it or turn over. And out of reach. Just read the route wrong. Intended for Praise Alatoke, the track star out of Ohio State. He broke in. The pass went out. And that's a turnover on downs. And we may get a knee here. How many times do you think they've thrown the ball to one another uh, since Perez got there? Not, not often. That's a challenge when you get late in the preseason. And he thought they had five downs too. He was going back to the huddle. <laughs> <laughs> maybe well, one of those leaks did. Say, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. AAF, no. <laughs> maybe XFL. Uh, so two quick knees, and we look forward to next Saturday in the Rams. All the stuff they can clean up. Same bat time, same bat channel, right? Exactly right. Four o'clock here at SoFi. And that's going to do it. That's the final knee. So Seattle behind a first half from Sam Howell. 
able to put 16 on the board and that's plenty Chargers only able to muster three points. But here you go. Former colleagues Mike McDonald Jim Harbaugh shake hands. Might be looking for his son Jay on that Seattle sideline. There he is. A lot of the same friends and coaches from Michigan and Baltimore that Jim has known through the years.